What is the average candy count, max candy count, and min candy count for each different type of egg? So we want to do an aggregate function call. And we're going to do a group phase, group stage. All right, so let's see if we can figure out what we want this to be grouped by. So we start our document with that underscore ID. And if we read up here, average candy count, that's going to be the average aggregation operator. Max is also an aggregation operator, and so is min. So these are things we're going to compute. What are we going to compute them on? Uh, for each different type of egg. So our ID is going to be on the egg field. And then let's do each one of these in order. Average candy count. So I'm just going to put this as, I'm going to name the field average count. And this is going to be built on that candy count field. We've used that before. But what do we want to do with it? Well, we're looking for average here. So that's the right field. And the operator we're going to use is average. Okay, and then we need a max candy count. So I'm going to call this max count. And this is all this one's going to use a different aggregation operator. This is going to be the max one, which is dollar sign max. And what do we want to build this on? We want to build it again on that candy count field. The next field is the min candy count, so I'm going to put it min count. And this one is going to use the min ag aggregation operator, which is min. And again, it's on that candy count. All right, average candy count, max candy count, and min candy count for each different value for egg. And there we have it. So we have each different value for egg as the ID, and then the average count, the max, and the min. So we get to see that on the two kilometers, the average is 57.9, the max is 400, and the min is 12. So we get to see the range, different values that we can operate on, that we can use these different aggregation operators to get a variety of information from the data.